Okay, so welcome back to our registered master equation online review. So at this moment, we'll again solve another problem involving y delta transformation. Okay, so let's go directly to the problem. Okay, so we have the third problem. Three six ohm resistors are connected in delta. Inside the delta, another uh, three. 6 ohm resistors are connected in Y. Find its resistance between any two corners of the circuit. So let's just have the two corners of the circuit. Okay, so we'll start this one by, of course, like the previous two problems, let's start this one by sketching or drawing the circuit. Okay, so 3, 6 ohm resistor connected in delta. So we will have here our delta circuit. Okay, so we'll just extend this one to accommodate the uh, Y later, which is inside the delta circuit. Okay. So we have the resistances. So let's just have another class, 6 ohms is also 6 ohms and this is another 6 ohms okay then inside the delta okay that's inside the delta another 3 6 ohm resistor are connected in y okay so let's have this one so inside there is a y connected uh, resistances okay so it's just have a color for that one. How about this one brown? So this will be six ohms again. Six ohms and six ohms. Okay. So the question is find its resistance between any two corners of the circuit. Okay, or of the circuit. Okay, so meaning we need to find the equivalent resistance of the two corners. For example, this corner and this corner here and this corner here. So if we are going to get the equivalent resistance of that, so we are going to get the resistances here. What is this equivalent resistance? By that sketch, we could not do that because we have um, y and delta inside of it so we need to find a way in order for our circuit to be uniform either it will be all y or all delta but because we are talking about any two corners so it must be in delta okay so from our previous example so we know that our delta is 3 times of the Y resistance yes okay so our Y resistance is the one inside the one in brown so that will be this resistances will be co converted into Delta so by using this one we could say that our RD so we just have this one in brown for emphasis so our RD is equal to 3 times 6 and this will be equivalent to or equal to 18 ohms so we could rewrite our diagram so this is 6 ohms this is 6 ohms, another 6 ohms. So the Y connected now will become delta connected. So this will be the delta connection. So this will be 18 ohms. This will be another 18 ohms and 
this will be 18 so I just run out of space ohms now we need to simplify further to transform this circuit this circuit into one single delta circuit so we need to simplify each corner of that or each side of the delta so this one we need to simplify this one this one also and this one and by inspection that is a simple uh, parallel circuit okay so could have here let's say that because the the three of them are just equal so we just call them as rp okay so rp is equal to the reciprocal of our gp so we need to find gp so gp is equal to 1 over our resistance which is 6 ohms plus our resistance in 18 ohms so let's just put first the variable r18 so we will have so gp is equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 18 so let's use our calculator so we have 1 over 6 plus 1 over 18 and that is equivalent to 2 over 9 so 2 over 9 shimens that is the unit for um, conductance so our RP is equal to 1 over the reciprocal of our conductance and that will be equal to 1 over 2 over 9 or equal to 9 over 2 so our RP is equal to 9 over 2 that is 4.5 Oops. next we are going to get for the resistance on any two corners so we'll end up with a single delta circuit okay we each having a resistance of 4.5 ohms Okay, 4.5 ohms here. 4.5 ohms, and this is another 4.5 ohms. So we need to get the resistance between two corners. So let's have this corner. So this will, this corner here so that will be a series circuit so let's call this one as rs so rs is equal to so rs is equal to 4.5 plus 4.5 so that will be equal to 9 ohms so that did this we are measuring in this corner this one so if we are going to find the resistance so this will be our RT so our circuit now will become because this is already a series circuit so our circuit now will become this one so it will become now a parallel circuit this will be our RT so this will be 4.5 RT this 
will be 4.5 ohms and this will be the 9 ohms okay so let's 16 our solution our sheet okay so our RT is because of this parallel so we need to first get the conductance so this will be GT and GT is equal to 1 reciprocal of the parallel resistances 4.5 plus 1 over 9 so we will give you a technique in the calculator so that you will be able to input this one as uh, faster so for example that is 1 over 4.5 so reciprocal so just 4.5 then you have this x to the negative 1 plus 9 x to the negative 1 then equals so that is equal to 1 third and rt is equal to the reciprocal of our conductance gt so i forgot to put the sign here that is in Siemens so we will have 1 over 1 over 3 okay so that is the reciprocal of 1 third and the reciprocal of 1 third so we will just directly have answer reciprocal so that is equal to 3 that is equal to 3 ohms and that this is now our answer okay so thank you for watching so i hope you understand the solution of this problem so this problem is much um, complicated than it looks like so the solution is longer but all you need to do is to remember the concept and to understand the concept especially the concept that the resistance of a delta connected resistor is um, three times the uh, the resistance of the y connected resistor if those resistances in the circuit are all equal okay so thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to comment below if you have uh, some problems that you need to be solved so we'll try to solve that in a video and as always thank you for watching and ready to pass the exam keep on studying